Hey guys, it's Trixie and here are some fun or weird facts about newborns. A newborn baby's face is not all clear and smooth. In fact, it's pretty wrinkled and cracked. It's basically too big for the tiny human being inside of it. So most of it peels off during the first days of life, leaving the baby with small skin flakes and crumbles everywhere. Another thing that's special about the skin. Right after birth, many babies have the weirdest pimples, melia, grinds or rashes. That's completely normal, but it can look pretty funny. It's like they're going through puberty. No matter how tiny they are when they are born, almost all newborns have the cutest chubby double chin. A newborn having hiccups makes some of the most adorable sounds in the world. And in general, you wouldn't expect the sounds that babies make. They chirp and sigh and babble and grunt and squeak. And when they sleep, they snore like morbidly obese bulldogs with a cold. If breastfed, their poop is orange. And no, I'll not add a picture here. We all know what orange looks like. Exactly. Around here, all newborns have a hole in their skull. That's because the different parts of the skull haven't fused yet. So in this part, they basically just have a layer of skin and then comes the brain, making this a very delicate spot that you have to be very careful with. It's kind of scary, to be honest, but it has to be this way so that they can squeeze through mommy's exit when they decide to enter this world. You know, the skull needs to be flexible and kind of fold. It doesn't get better the more I talk. Newborns have hair in weird places. For example, on their ears and on their foreheads. And also on their backs and their shoulders. It pretty much looks like fur. Talking about hair, the hair on their heads is super fluffy. The softest kind of fluffy you can imagine. Also, their heads smell incredible. There is nothing better than the smell of a newborn baby. It's like... <sighs> cookie dough from heaven. Their ankles are still so flexible that they can touch their shins with the back of their feet. Their tiny, cute fingernails are sharp as razor blades. Sometimes they're already deeply asleep and they even started snoring, but their eyes are still open. You can only see the white of the eyeball. Yes, that looks very freaky, but no worries, it's most likely normal. When the doctor clamps and cuts the umbilical cord after birth, a little stamp of it is left, still attached to the navel. It's bluish or even purple, then it dries and becomes yellowish brown, and then it just drops off after a couple of days. Parents then have to take care of the wound below it, that can still ooze or even bleed for a week or two. Yes, newborns are cute, I agree, but most of the time they make pretty derpy faces. Also, their eyes are really huge compared to the rest of their facial features, making them look like little aliens. No matter how well you prepare yourself, stock up in baby clothes and supplies, you will still most likely end up with too much of one thing and too little of another. We have way too many blankets, pacifiers and rattles, but too few pajamas and sleeveless sleeping bags. But well, actually, in the end, a mother really only needs one thing, nerves. So before you, as a friend, go and buy another stuffed animal, maybe also consider a voucher for an afternoon off. Oh, and chocolate. You cannot do anything wrong with chocolate. Newborns already try to imitate their mom's smile within the first days of their lives. And it's so cute that watching them makes your heart explode. They are already very tickly, under their feet, on their backs, and when you tickle them under their chins, they open their mouths. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this. See you in my next video. Bye!